It's 50 years since Britain massively intensified our war on drugs. We've had 50 years of criminally punishing, often in very harsh ways, drug users and people with addiction problems. And we've transferred the control of the drug trade in Britain from the people who used to control it, doctors and pharmacists, to armed criminal gangs. And if you want to know how it could have been different all these 50 years, including for some people I love, and you want to understand how it could be different in the next 50 years, you just have to look at places that have adopted different policies, places that I've been to and reported on. In the year 2000, Portugal had one of the worst drug problems in the world. They decided to decriminalise all drugs and transfer all the money they used to spend on screwing people's lives up, shaming them and punishing them, and they spent that money instead on helping them turn their lives around. It was a massive fall in addiction, a massive fall in overdose deaths. We don't have to carry on doing this. We don't have to continue with a policy that is a disaster. At some point, we have to stop copying the places that have failed when it comes to drugs and start copying the places that have succeeded. We could have been a different country all this time when it came to the most vulnerable people among us. We can still be that different country. Choose a better next 50 years.